Today's going to be another video about inexpensive meals to feed your whole family. Today we're going to be making a meatloaf on our pellet grill that's outstanding. You're going to want to try this one, so let's get after it. Okay, I have two pounds of just 80-20, 85-20 ground meat here. But the first thing we're gonna do, I've got one small, it'd be about a half of a bell pepper that I'm gonna cut up. Just gonna chop it up real fine. I've already, I've already took the seeds and stuff out of it. This was just a small one out of the out of the garden. Chop this up real good. Get this other one over here and do the same thing to it. Now I went ahead and picked this one because it was already turning red on me. Okay, put them right there. And we'll get this over here. And we're just gonna add all of these to our two pounds of ground meat. All right, now I've got one small jalapeno here that we've already took the membrane out of and took the seeds out of. We're going to chop this up and add this to the ground meat. Okay. And we're going to put these in there. The jalapeno. Okay, now we'll set this right over here out of the way. Now, the next thing we're going to do, get this over here. We got two eggs here that we're going to put in there. Just like that. Now, I've got one tablespoon of garlic powder or granulated garlic and what I'll do later at, on at the end of the video toward the end of the video I'll put in the actual recipe I'll post it up there I got some granulated onion I got about a one and a half tablespoons of dried parsley I've got about three quarters of a cup of panko breadcrumbs I've got about one and a half teaspoons of Italian seasoning. And in this bowl, I've got smoked Spanish paprika, some salt and some pepper. Put that in there. Now I'm gonna put in, I've got some Lee and Perrin's Worcestershire sauce. I think that's how you spell it. And I'm just gonna kind of guesstimate, eh, about that much. Probably a teaspoon and a half. Now I got one third cup of milk that I'm going to put in here. Now, this last ingredient is optional. I like to use it. You don't have to. You can leave it out. I got two teaspoons of MSG flavor enhancer that I'm going to put in here. Put all that in there. Now we're just going to mix it up. Mix it all through our meatloaf. Get all this stuff all mixed in. Okay. Man, this actually smells good right now. With all the seasonings and everything we got in it. Just gonna mix it all up. Make sure you get it all distributed really well. Okay. Now we've got that about done. And what I have here, I have a bread pan that I've put some parchment paper in. And we're just going to put this in there. And we're just basically using this as a mold. That's all we're doing. We're just going to use this as a mold for our... You don't have to use a mold, but I like to use a mold. It just makes it look prettier for the family. 
And we're just going to pack this in there really well. Put all of our meatloaf in here. Get everything out of the bowl. Just get it all worked in real good. Get it pressed down really well. Just like that. Okay, I got it in there really well. Now we're gonna put this in the refrigerator for about an hour. And during that time, I'm gonna go out. I'm using pecan pellets today. Since we're running beef, I really like to use pecan pellets. We're gonna put this in the refrigerator. Go get our pellet smoker up and running. And whenever the hours has been up, I'll be right back with you. Okay, our meatloaf set in the refrigerator for an hour. We got our pellet grill up to temp. I've got my meat sticking there. We just took it out of the refrigerator, put a small piece of aluminum foil on this rack, and we just turned it upside down and pulled the parchment paper off. Now we're gonna go get it on, get this thing a cooking. Man, this thing is gonna be delicious. Okay, we've got this up to 225 degrees. Just gonna set that right in there. And the cook is on, baby. Okay, our meatloaf has hit 140 degrees internal. Now we're gonna just add some tomato sauce to this. And in this tomato sauce, I put a little bit of Italian seasoning in it. Just about, eh, about a teaspoon. And we're just gonna put this, this is about a half a can of tomato sauce. We're just gonna smear it on there. Boy, this is gonna be so good on this. Good coat on it. Alright, get a little bit right there. Okay. Alright. Now I'm gonna get this back on. We're gonna take it to 165 internal and we'll be ready to eat. Okay, our meatloaf hit 165. We pulled it off, let it rest a few minutes. Now we'll fix to start slicing this up. But before we do, let's kind of go over what we did. We took two pounds of ground meat, about 85, 15 ground meat, put some chopped up bell pepper in it, some one small chopped up jalapeno, removed the membrane and the seeds out of both of them, put it in there. Then we mixed up some spices and I'll put the list of spices right over here, exactly how we mixed it up. Mixed it all up, put it in the refrigerator for an hour, got our pellet smoker up and running, put it on there. We took it to 140 internal temperature. We put a glaze on it of tomato sauce, let it go to 165, pulled it, let it rest for about 10 minutes. Now we're fixing to slice it up. And it does smell amazing. Still hot too. It's going to cut some slices here. Okay. Now then, let's pull us a slice right out of here. Oh my, I want you to look at that. That looks so good. Got smoke ring and everything. Man, I'm fixing to cut me a little piece right off of here and I'm fixing to check and see how it turned out. Oh man, that is so good. You really got to try this. It is absolutely wonderful. Well, I want to thank everybody for watching. And I want to send a special thank to all of my subscribers and everybody else who watches my videos. I want to send a special thanks out to all the men and women in the military that protect us and keep us safe every day. I want to send a special thanks to all of our veterans. And I want to send a special thanks to all the men and women in law enforcement and all the first responders. Thank you very much.